Hi everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I wanted to share some projects I've been working on. Sorry I haven't been posting more videos, but I have been a very, very, very busy elf in the workshop <laughs> the past couple weeks. And some of the things I already have a giveaway, so I don't have them here to show you. But um, I wanted to share a couple of things that I've been working on. Uh, these were my Christmas cards this year. I used the Melissa Francis Duck the Halls stack, and uh, I love poinsettias. They just thought that paper was so pretty. And then this is probably my favorite stamp that I've bought for Christmas this year. And uh, I colored in the holly and the poinsettias on the stamp with my Prismacolor pencils. And then I put some little bitty bling in the center of the poinsettias, and I stamped it right on the on the designer paper. I think it turned out really cute and I don't know if you can tell I used one of my Stardust Jelly Roll pins and Silver Star and did the flourishes and then also did the Joyx Noel and I thought they turned out really pretty. I did some on the red. Well I only made two because I don't have very many people to send cards to um, that I actually have to send them in the mail. So I did one in red and then I did one with a green background and then, and I really liked the Melissa, Melissa Francis paper pad. A lot of people said they didn't like it because there were multiple sheets of the same pattern and you didn't get very many patterns. I personally loved that because it's, it's super easy to make multiples of the same card, which I liked a lot. And then on the inside, I used a piece of the Melissa Francis paper and then my Christmas tree spellbinder. And then the stamp came from... The poinsettia stamp set from oh what's her name oh I don't remember where it's from I'll put it in the down bar oh tailored expressions the poinsettia set from tailored expressions that's what comes in and then on the green one I did a red pattern paper and then the same on the inside and then I'll just sign my name I really liked that I saw prairie paper and ink I saw her do the inside, you decorate the inside and do a stamp so you don't have to write a whole lot because that was always my issue was uh, having to write a lot in cards so I really like watching her and I've seen several other people do it too where you just do a nesty inside and decorate it up and then all you really have to do is sign it which is very nice so that's that I really like how they turned out and I like that they're flat because they're going to go through the mail. Then I was watching some other videos on YouTube and I found several people who have made these um, post-it note little notepads. And I thought they were adorable. I love them so much. This was not my original idea. I have seen many people do it. Um, also a very good idea for if you're doing craft fairs. I used several stamp sets. I used my Everyday Button Bits from Paper Tray Ink several times. I used Nesties. I used Ribbon. I used several different paper pads. So here's this one with the hot air balloons and it says soaring by to say hi. And uh, I would tell you the dimensions that I used. I know that the fold was, this was, um, I think it's a quarter of an inch. For the fold I just kind of played around with it until I figured it out and then made a template so I'll always know what to do and you can make them for any size notepad you want so there's that one and then this one that says just breathe with the little trees and it has a green pad inside and then you are never too old to t set another goal or dream in a, a new dream this is the twine from the paper tray ink. It's very skinny. It's nice to work with. And uh, that stamp set is by Pink by Design. Yeah, Pink by Design stamps. And so is the Just Breathe. This is the Believe in Yourself set and this is the Just Breathe set. And then uh, back to the everyday button bits. All things grow with love. 
And these are presents for uh, the teachers I work with. You can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to leave the shore. And I used my glitter on pen on that. I love this paper. This is basic gray out of print. So I just put the sentiment and made it look like a banner. And I just, I think the paper looks great by itself. This one's super cute. This one's basic gray Indian summer with the cherries. And I just think that turned out super cute too. Oh, also the, these that I put the buttons on and like these that I put the sentiments on were, is the coaster pack from Paper Tray Ink. And they're super awesome to die cut with and they're sturdy. I like them a lot. It was 25 for a dollar. So very affordable. And I die cut it with my nesties and it worked perfectly. And then this one is To the Moon by Fancy Pants. And that little die cut thing I cut out from the paper collection. Dare to be Fabulous. And then that was the Believe in Yourself stamp set. No, it was the Just Breathe stamp set. So there's that one. I tried to make it a little more gender neutral. Uh, I know the stamp that I picked probably doesn't make it gender neutral, but... It has brighter colors, where the others have more pastel -y colors, I guess. And then this is the last one. It says, Dream Until Your Dream Comes True, with the little balloons. I like this one a lot, too. Oh, I think they all turned out super cute. And uh, this was the Everyday Button Bits as well. So there's all my notepads, and I might go back to Walmart and get some more get some more post-its and make a couple more just because I think they'd be nice to have on hand just for an everyday present not necessarily a Christmas present and then a couple weeks back I had gotten the balsa boxes and said that I was gonna make gift card holders out of them and uh, I had a comment that said will you would I would I show them once I have them decorated so um here they are and I haven't done all of the decoration I'm going to do on them but uh, this is the gist of what they're going to look like and I think I might just I don't even know what I'm I might not even this might just be it and I might just put like a two from tag up here but um and then you open it up and I would suggest if you are going to do this see I glued this one I used the quick dried adhesive so it's it's cracking a little bit as it opens but um, if you are doing this I would suggest using score tape it um, holds just as well as glue does and it still makes the top flexible so there's this one a little snowman and then here's this one this is 12 days of Christmas pattern paper and this one I taped so it is still fairly flexible. Now I'm using these as gift card holders and the gift card doesn't exactly fit. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be on the edge a little bit but it still is gonna be fine. So there's that one and then this one is Eskimo Kisses paper. This is like my favorite paper ever and uh, on the sides if you wanted to glue it would be fine, but for this part that goes over the top, I would definitely recommend you score use score tape. It would make things lots easier. And then here's this one. This one's Echo Park paper. Merry Christmas collection. I inked everything with my Tim Holtz inks, the Christmas set. And then I also covered this was one I glued. See it's not very flexible. So there's that one. I still need to put ribbon on this one. And this one's Father Christmas collection. I love holly. I love holly and poinsettias. It's gorgeous. So there's that one. I still need to put ribbon on this one too. This was one I taped. See, you can definitely tell the difference between when I taped and when I glued so still need to put ribbon on this one and they're going to be little gift card holders